This week in CP, the Crown Point St. Baldrick's event hosted by the CPHS Key Club raises lots of money for children's cancer research, and a couple hours later the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade marches through downtown CP on a chilly Friday night. All this and more coming up on CPTV. Hi, I'm Evan Holland. And I'm Haley Bramwell. Welcome to CPTV. Samantha Winters will be here in just a couple minutes with your five-day weather forecast. And here's what's happening at Crown Point High School. The Students vs. Teachers Olympics is coming to CPHS on Tuesday, April 25th. The annual event, which is a fundraiser for the Northwest Indiana Cancer Kids Foundation, is being sponsored by The Pulse and invites students from all grades to join together against the teachers in events such as hula hoop, relay race, tug of war, dodgeball, and more. All students interested in participating need to be signed up by April 7th. Cost is $10 per student and includes a t-shirt. Sign up in Ms. McGee's room C206 or Ms. Shafaz's room E219. Students First Teachers Olympics is going to be on Tuesday, April 25th, and it's going to be located in the main gym at the high school. It's going to go from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., and it's um, raising money for the Nick Foundation, um, Northwest Indiana Kids with Cancer. And there's going to be dodgeball, um, relay race, volleyball, basketball, a bunch of fun events coming together. We have a bunch of teachers signed up already. The deadline to sign up is going to be on April 7th, and you can sign up in two places, either in my room in E2119, or you can sign up in Miss McGee's room in C206. Last Friday afternoon, the CPHS Key Club sponsored the St. Baldrick's event in the CPHS cafeteria with a record-breaking amount of donations. The local event raised over $67,000, again for the Nick Foundation, with students and adults shaving their heads to show support for children with cancer. I've been involved with St. Baldrick's at Crown Point ever since the fire department originated this idea about five years ago. Uh, that that uh, program is, uh, each and every year has grown because more people have, uh, uh, have gotten involved with the, the research and, and donations, and the venue that we had at the firehouse was just too small which is a good thing because we're doing the right thing, raising money and getting more people to participate. Uh, it was a stressful first year getting it going. Um, we set a goal for $50,000 um, and we exceeded that goal. We've actually raised over $60,000 and are hoping to reach the mid-70s by the end of today. Um, it's a great event. Um, I'm happy to do it and I hope that Key Club can uh, keep doing it for the years to come. There are still many dresses remaining for the Say Yes to the Dress sales event. Lightly used formal dresses, which are perfect for prom, can be purchased at drastic discounts for the remainder of this week in the Learning Commons. Speaking of prom, tickets for this year's Big Dance are now on sale until noon, Friday, April 7th. There are only 820 spots this year, and all purchases must be made online through the CPHS website. The ticket purchase includes a meal, a photo booth, and a candy buffet. No tickets will be sold at school. Ticket prices are $140 for couples and $70 for singles. The theme for this year is an enchanted evening. On Friday, many residents from all over the region gathered down Main Street for Crown Point's annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Various organizations gave away candy and shirts riding their respective floats. Meanwhile, members of the community celebrated the day dressed in the traditional green attire. It's very loud and cool. I like to dance with horses. I went with my family, and the food was good. Pierogies and um, nachos. nachos. Oh, I love seeing the parade. I like the balloon that I love on bottles. Get your bottles. Yeah, I got this big bag of popcorn. Winter came to an official end this Monday, bringing thunderstorms and mild temperatures. Here's CPTV's Samantha Winters with your Friday weather forecast. After seeing some storms earlier in the week, temperatures have been warming up and cooling down from day to day. But it looks like after today, we will begin to stabilize those temperatures. Before we get into the long-range forecast, let's take a look at what you can expect for the rest of the day.
Throughout the day, we'll hover right around the low 30s with skies starting to cloud over towards the latter part of the day. We will see the day's high of 34 right around 3 o'clock hour before they begin to drop. Taking a look at the five day, tomorrow's temps will be around 50 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Friday, we'll see a big warm up of 70 degrees, again with partly cloudy skies. Heading into our first weekend of break, we do have a lot of rain in the forecast for both days. Saturdays will be up in the 60s, but Sunday's temps will cool into the upper 40s. For our first Monday of break, expect to see high near 60 degrees with a chance of rain. And that's your five day forecast. Have a great break. All seniors are asked to complete their post-secondary plan in RDS. The state of Indiana requires every student have a documented four-year graduation course plan on file. Further, the guidance office wants students to know that the counseling staff utilizes these plans for a variety of reasons, such as being able to identify students to invite to special career guest speakers, scholarship opportunities, college visits, summer programs, and more. Students fill out information directly in Student RDS by clicking the link just under the Naviance button on the RDS homepage. Don't forget to click Submit when finished. We are exactly in between winter and spring sports as baseball, softball, tennis, golf, and track and field teams gear up for their respective seasons. This past Saturday, however, the boys lacrosse team traveled to Indianapolis to take on the number one team in the state, the Heritage Christian Eagles. The Eagles' fast offense dominated the Bulldogs' defense all game as they eventually defeated the Bulldogs 17-5. The lacrosse team has had a lot of success, though, against region opponents, and tomorrow night will look for their ninth win in a row versus the region opponent as the Dogs host the LaPorte Slicers. The Biomed Club will host their inaugural high school heart walk in conjunction with the American Heart Association on April 28th here on the CPHS track. The goal is to both raise money and awareness surrounding heart disease and strokes because one out of every three people are affected by some form of heart disease. The event will feature food vendors, concessions, activity stations, and more, and is open to the entire CP community. The AHA has set an ambitious goal of raising $100,000 during the event and needs your help. For more info, see Mrs. Chevalier in room C-237 or email her at kchevalier at cps.k12.in.us. That'll do it for today's show. Remember, you can view all of our past episodes on cptvmedia.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at cptvmedia. For Samantha Winters and all of us here at cptv, I'm Haley Bramwell. And I'm Evan Holland. Spring break is next week, so we'll be back on April 12th. Until then, take care.